guys so here's our little camper we bought it's a four winds express light and this is a 27 foot trailer and uh pulls pretty good behind the tahoe and it's got a whole bunch of new stuff new awning we just got it just up right now because we're working on stuff but uh it's a pretty neat little deal so obviously it's not folded out right now but it's got a uh, cute little bathroom and stuff it's been Custom painted a lot of pieces. A, a nice older couple couple had it, and this is was her pride and joy. She worked on all the time. It was really cool, but she made a lot of really nice little pieces and made these covers and all kinds of good stuff. But it's a hybrid because it'll pop out on the front and rear and uh, allow you to just lay the beds there. But it's pretty cool. So the first thing we were doing, switching out all of these regular incandescent bulbs for all new LEDs. So you see that's the incandescent one there and that's the LED. So pretty cool. It looks a lot better than that ugly yellow light. So it'd be nice to get these switched out. And we just installed a brand new battery. Battery was shot on this thing. So just put a brand new battery in it. Uh, AC works good, all that stuff. So we're just going to do flipping these out now. All right, guys, we also picked up this. This is the, the no mold. Um, it actually goes in between your freezer and refrigerator door. Things work pretty good. Just keeps them from closing all the way, being pushed all the way closed so you don't get any mildew or mold smells or whatever like that in there. Uh, and it also came with two of these for coolers, which is kind of cool. Pop, pop your cooler open. So, pretty neat. But, uh, just fiddling them with little things here and there. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is change out this handle. So this is the old one, and the pin is gone, so it does nothing. It's supposed to have a nice pin sticking out here to lock it in place, which is why this is on there, just to kind of hold it. So, got uh, two rivets, got to drill out, and it looks to be like there's only one spot where all of this will line up. Right there's the holes that lines up on each one of them. You can kind of drill through it and then rivet the new one on. So, we're going to get the drill in here. Okay guys, so we took the caps off and uh, was able to pull the handle right off there. So this is the bad one. Obviously the pin is just broken off. That's the good one. So now we just gotta knock these things in. But that one's almost ready to fall in. And uh, we can knock them through those holes down there and uh, get everything lined up. They'll just fall out here. Well, the bottom one will, but the top one's gonna have to. Well, it'll, you know, fall out right it'll go out, so let's knock those through. Yeah. All right, guys, so I've got the ball lined up and hook it up, try the brakes out, and uh, take our camper out for the first time now. And I got one of these sway control bars here. This is from Camco. And uh, to get it hooked up, we already had the provisions here, ball there and a ball on the side. Uh, down in there, you can't see it right there, but um, get this hooked up and uh, see how it works. So, go from there. All right, guys, we made it to our first time camping. Here we are. 